Right, yo guys, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be talking about Tropical Storm Bill in the Atlantic. So, 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. I don't know if this 94L is. That's Eastern Daylight Time. This one's also Eastern Daylight Time. I'll do disturbance number one first. As of 8 a.m. As of 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, June, Tuesday, June the 15th, 2021. Disorganized showers and thunderstorms continue over the Bay of Campeche and southern Mexico. In associated with a broad low pressure area, this system is expected to move a little during the next day or two. And any developments should be slow to occur during that time. However, the disturbance should begin to move late in the week. No. Should be moved northwest by Thursday. And a tropical depression is likely to form late in the week when the low moves over across the central or northern Gulf of Mexico, regardless of development, heavy heavy rainfall will continue over the portions of Central America and southern Mexico during the next several days. Impacts and portions of the northern Gulf Coast on Friday. Please consult products from your local meteorological local meteorological meteorological surface for more information. And the NHC is given that a twenty percent chance of formation in the next fight in the next forty eight hours and a seventy percent chance in the next five days. Oh. This should become tropical storm or hurricane um Carlos. No, no, Cla Claudette. We'll be talking about Ca Cla Carlos later on in the video. This re recon will be in the storm in Thursday. Recon will be. But not in the storm yet because it's not really a, a threat to uh, the Gulf Coast. But it is a threat to southern Mexico because they're having... Some squall, some some squally rainfall from this. Bill, I'll show you the forecast cone right now. This is the National Hurricane Center's cone of uncertainty, and they are saying 60 miles an hour with a pressure of 990 with not of 998 millibars. Yeah, 998 millibars, which is. Uh, very good for uh, very good for for this time of season because Arthur was 60 miles an hour last year obviously we had the honor last month and honor trouble some honor formed north of Bermuda this formed like 200 miles or or 1,000 miles uh, from Bermuda last night and obviously I'll show you the pressure in a minute so obviously uh, the pressure of the of the squally rainfall this is going to bring heavy winds to parts of Nova Scotia and New Finland Nova Scotia and Newfound New Finland, which is Newfoundland, uh, it's New fi Finland. Some parts of New fi Finland and and Nova Scotia. Right, I'll show you the forecast cones right now. I'll be back in a minute, guys. And then obviously, obviously. This is still Tropical Storm Bill. <coughs> tropical Storm Bill. As of 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time, Tuesday, the 15th of June, 
Maximum sustained winds is 50 knots, which is 60 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure is 998 millibars, located at 40.5 40 degrees north and 62.0 degrees west. Movement northeast at, 30 knot, at 33 knots, which is 38 miles an hour. So obviously I will show you the east pack. And the East Pack has got two, they've got Tropical Storm Carlos, which is on the International Dateline, I think. So this is Tropical Storm, well, Tropical Depression Carlos. It weakened the other day to a Tropical Depression. And it's hold it, it's maintained its intensity, actually. As of 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Tuesday, June the 15th, advisory 12, maximum stained winds is 30 knots, which is 35 miles an hour, minimum central pressure is 1,007 millibars, and located at 10.0 degrees north and 132.6 degrees west, movement west at 9 knots, which is 10 miles an hour. Obviously, if you go into the central Pacific, Right, it's stuck and still in the East Pack, but you got the international date line here. Right, you got the international date line right here, but this is the international date line where my arrow key is right now. Where my arrow is, Carlos is meant to move over there as a as a uh, rent, as a rent, as a uh, extra tropical cyclone, and obviously. I don't think it will generate in the uh, in the in the Central Pacific because of strong wind shear, very cozy surface temperatures. So we've got a negative AMO, then we've got a positive NAO, which is making the Atlantic warm up actually. And yeah, I'll show you. And we've also got a system as well, which. It's no threat for now. It's for medium. It's a 40% chance in the next five days, and ne near zero in the next four in the next 48 hours. And I'll show you Carlos's cone of uncertainty now. Which Carlos's cone is? It's be it's only blown up a little bit of convection. Like the convection around the storm is completely gone. Here's the code. It's meant to stay for depression as another good few hours yet before weakening on Wednesday 5 a.m. as a post-tropical depression moving into the um, Central Pacific and dying out completely. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And I hope you, all you guys stay safe from hurricanes, tropical storms, cyclones, um, earthquakes, tsunamis, and everything. If you want any updates on tsunamis or earthquakes or severe weather or any thunderstorms are happening in like Europe, England, America, and all that, just let me know in the comments and I will do that. I shall see you all in the next storm and goodbye for now, and peace.